this AI can cartoonize any picture or video you feed it in the cartoon style you want. Let's see how it does that and some amazing examples. You can even try it yourself on the website they created as I did for myself. This is What's AI and I share artificial intelligence news every week. If you are new to the channel and want to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to not miss any further news. Researchers from the popular S2 Paints research team has just released a new paper able to cartoonize your pictures and videos in the style of a specific cartoon. This is called image cartoonization. It uses a GAN framework in order to learn from the cartoon style behavior. What's cool about this new method is that it's separately learning each extracted representations, making their framework controllable and adjustable to better match the artist's style in different use cases. To do that, images are first decomposed into three cartoon representations, which will guide the network's optimization to generate the cartoonized results. It separately takes the surface, structure, and texture representations in order to produce equivalently realistic cartoonish results for all these components. As said, it uses a GAN framework, but with one generator and two discriminators, where the first discriminator, DS, aims to distinguish between the surface representation of the outputs and the original cartoons. The second one, DT, is used for the same goal, replacing the surface by the texture of the images. Then, a pre-trained VGG network extracts high-level features and imposes spatial constraint between the structure representations of input photos and outputs. If we dive a bit deeper into the three principal segments, we can see that the surface representation's role is to imitate the cartoon painting style, made possible by the use of the discriminator DS as discussed previously. Then, the second principal component they use is the structure. This is where the VGG is used. It extracts the high-level features to enforce spatial constraint between the results and extracted structure representations. They use a standard superpixel algorithm to find the segment maps, using these maps to color each segmented region of the image with an average of the pixel value. Finally, the texture representation is used in the form of a random color shift to extract single-channel texture representation from color images. In short, it returns high-frequency texture information and decreases the influence of color and luminance to make the results look more cartoonish. It is also super customizable. You can decide the sharpness of the texture just by fine-tuning one parameter, which will easily make it look the way you want. Just take a minute to look at the awesome results they got. You can even do it on a video. Here, they applied it on an Avenger scene. Look how sharp and clear the results are. Fella done me wrong. Got a lousy taste of men, kid. He's not so bad. He has a temper. Deep down, he's all fluff. It's nice. What, what? What is? You and Romanov. No, we haven't. That wasn't. <laughs> it's okay. Nobody's breaking any bylaws. It's just she's not the most open person in the world. But with you, she seems very relaxed. No, Natasha, she, she likes to flirt. I've seen her flirt. Up close. This ain't that. <laughs> Please, start by all means. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Never one to shrink from an honest challenge. Uh -huh. Get after it. It's physics. Physics. All right, so I, if I lift it, I, I then rule Asgard? Yes, of course. I will be reinstituting prima nocta. <clears throat> be right back. Are you even pulling? Are you on my team? 
Just represent, pull. Alright, let's go. Here's the result I personally got on myself, just to see that this really works on any picture it takes. I invite you to try it yourself on a picture or a video using the first link in the description of the video. The code is also available in their GitHub if you'd like to train it on a different cartoon style. Of course, this was just a simple overview of this new paper. I strongly recommend to read the paper linked in the description for more information. Please leave a like if you went this far in the video. And since there are over 90% of you guys watching that are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any further news clearly explained. If you want to support the channel, I now have a Patreon linked in the description where you can do that. Thank you for watching.